there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Rock You Like a Hurricane by the Scorpions. I'm just going to show you two parts, I'm not going to show you the guitar solos, we're just going to do the uh, two rhythm parts, the main parts. Here they are. this video and other videos like it, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more. Alright, let's get into this. Alright, it's all bar chords. This is one of the easiest songs ever, and it's really cool because it's fun to play. You know, I used to always play this when I was younger, and because it's just so much fun. Alright, and so all you do, first chord is you do an E, take your pointer finger, put it on the 7th fret of the A, put your ring finger on the 9th fret of the D, and you don't have to do this. You could you can leave you can leave this pinky on there on the on the on the ninth fret of the of the G as well, or you can just do those two chords. Probably, probably just do the the, the two strings. The uh, not the two chords, but the two strings. Probably just do the A and the D. Pointer finger on the seventh fret of the A, and your ring finger on the ninth fret of the D. And, and hit those two strings, but also hit the low E. pointer finger, put it down to the third fret of the E, and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the A, and play that. Just play the two, the top, the E and the A. Down, down. Alright, so then take your pointer finger, put it on the fifth fret of the E, and your ring finger on the seventh fret of the A. Down, down. Take your pointer finger, put it on the third fret of the A, and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D. Put that once down. Slide that up two frets. Put your pointer fingers on the fifth fret of the A, or the yeah, fifth fret of the A, and your ring fingers on the the uh, seventh fret of the D. Down, down. All, all picking all down. And that last one hits it twice. Going to the verse, he'll do that twice and then kind of hold it there. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna do a C power chord. Put your pointer finger on the third fret of the A, your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D, and you're gonna muffle those two strings and play, play just those two strings and muffle on them. All right, all down, and then slide it up to the E, which is your seventh fret on the your pointer, pointer finger on the seventh fret of the A. Your ring finger on the fifth fret, I mean the ninth fret of the D. Alright, muffle it on. Alright, so then you're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's, well, yeah, three and then five. It's harder to count than it is to feel it, but. You go back to that same first chord. Back to the E, back to that second chord. And then you. When you, when you hit the E, you just kind of go. And you end up on the, uh, the pointer finger on the fifth fret of the A. And your ring finger on the seventh fret of the D. It's the D. Come on, you're all 
hold me to that five thing because I don't, I can't, I, I can't verify it all the way, but I know it hip hop sounds. <laughs> Then you do it again, then you repeat it. This time you don't go, this time you go straight to the, the D. Alright, so I'm gonna just go slow so you can hear exactly what it does. But basically, there's only three chords in that whole part of the song. Okay, then the second part of the, each verse, and even maybe at the very beginning of the second verse, you gotta listen to it, listen to the different dynamics going on. But you, you take off the muffle and you, you do it a little harder. <laughs> Is that, you know, when the, one of the verses everything's dropping, dropping out except for the drums going power chords. And then it goes back into the very first, the, you know, the regular. So it's the D twice. And again, the D is the fifth fret of the, you put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the A and your ring finger on the seventh fret of the D. And you slide down to the C. Hear the part where the, what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a verse without anything but the you know the singing and the drums and a couple other things, I guess. But then and then that's how it comes back in. Then the guitar comes back in like. Oh. Okay, and so that is the lesson. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day jamming out with the Scorpions.